Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is by Use Exam Prep. So today I am here in front of you with a notification related to National Productivity Council. And guys, this notice uh, how you will get for that you will be going to the Google first of all, and you would be putting National Productivity Council, and then you will be going to the website. And when you will be going to the website, here you would be going for this recruitment of assistant director. Uh, when you will be clicking on this, you would be getting this PDF. So you can see this PDF, uh, what it is saying. It is about the recruitment for the post of assistant director in NPC through GATE 2023. So first of all, whatever these posts are, they are from the GATE score of 2023 exam. And guys, when we are talking about NPC, so NPC of India established in 1958 is an autonomous organization under the Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, okay, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, okay, so definitely you can say uh, it is an important job if you are talking about the job and what would be the group, group A, pay level 10 as per the 7 CPC, means it is equivalent post which you get from Engineering Services Examination or State uh, state PSC as, uh, as well, okay, so if you talk about the other things, you can see the number of posts now category wise breakup branch wise you can see for mechanical total number of seats are three two in generals one is ews for production and industrial one journal and one obc and cl one sc then for environment science total three for electrical total three for computer science total two for chemical total two for civil total one yes number of posts are lesser but whatever they are it is our duty to tell you about that so that you can apply and definitely there may be some student who are looking for this type of uh, job or vacancy. So guys for them it is a good, good one. So guys now we are going to see the essential qualification required for this. So the qualification required is BE, BTEC, BSc Engineering as full time regular course and from the institutions, colleges, university or deemed university which are recognized by AICT or UGC. Candidate possessing five-year integrated dual degree in engineering are also eligible to apply. Then who can apply? That you know only Indian national who have appeared for GATE 23 and have valid GATE score. Candidate possessing essential qualification only are eligible to apply. So my dear, the best thing is here production and industrial are peoples are also eligible. That is a good thing. So they are telling now candidate must have qualified in GATE 23 examination from one of the following discipline in order to be eligible for this advertisement. Mechanical engineering or production and industrial or environment science and engineering or electrical, computer science and information technology, chemical and civil. Then my dear qualifying in gate 23 from discipline other than the seven mentioned above shall not be accepted towards the eligibility for the advertised post. Gate marks of previous years shall also not be accepted. So only it is from gate 23, not from the previous gate score. Then minimum BTEC percentage they are asking is 60% for general EWS OBC and for SCST PWBD is 55%. Okay. Calculation of percentage of marks in the qualifying degree would be governed by institute or college rules. Okay. Then they are talking about the age criteria for general or EWS age criteria is 25 years for OBC three years relaxation for SC five years for ST five years okay for PWBD 10 years relaxation is there then my dear rest the rule of reservation is as per the government norms which are there in every post so there is no uh, point of uh, looking at that what is application process candidate must go through this detailed advertisement carefully first of all then you can go to this link, relevant link is available, you will be clicking on that, you will go to the page for registration. First you will be having registration where you will put all of details of yours, then application submission and after final submit, you have to pay the fees. What is the fees? Fees is 300 for general EWS, OBC and SCST female candidates, PWBD candidates are exempted from the fees. The application fee mentioned about does not include service charge or any other charge that bank may lay. Then you can see in case of any problem faced by the candidate in filling the online application, they may call on this number or they can mail on this ID. Okay. Then they have said candidates are requested to scan and upload the scanned copy of these things. You need to have your photograph, your signature, date of birth, 12th class certificate, graduate engineering degree certificate, 
and then you should have all experience certificate pwbd certificate if you are uh, in that category then gate score of 2023 and admit card so these are the things required guys okay then they have put in the detail of the sizes of the uh, and the format of that okay then all these things after that they have mentioned this ki candidate are advised to go through the advertisement in detail and not to raise any query which is already mentioned and clarified in the advertisement for technical queries relating to online application form or browsing issues may send to assistant director 2023 technical issue subject matter so you can go on that as well okay and then my dear we are moving to the selection and short listing process so selection process is uh, comprised of short listing based on the marks obtained out of 100 in the gate 2023 then there will be a personal interview qualified candidate will be short listed for group discussion okay and then personal interview will be there and they have mentioned that ki short listed for gd and p or pi they have mentioned on the basis of their marks in gate 23 in order to the merit in the ratio of 1 is to 10 so if you have three posts then 30 students would be called based on the uh, their rank so whoever will be apply okay so top 30 student will be called for three posts okay so likewise final merit list shall be prepared by assigning the weightage of 85 percent to the gate score five percent to the gd and 10 percent to the personal interview marks okay then my dear shortlisted candidate for gdpi shall be notified on the npc website and candidates shall be informed through their registered email id and mobile number also okay guys so you would be getting the letters and they are also saying that candidate must qualify in the personal interview in order to be considered for appointment as assistant director and the qualifying percentage means maybe the weightage of that personal interview and gd is less 5 and 10 but whatever the weightage is according to that you must get minimum marks like if 10 marks are allotted for the interviews then general or ews candidate have to score 4 out of 10 minimum obc sc st pwbd have to score 3 out of 10 minimum more than that is fine okay okay so overall weightage is there sectional cutoff they have mentioned weightage of different parameters they have mentioned once again 85 5 10 total is 100 Please note that only gate 23 marks is valid, note prior gate scores are valid. The offer for appointment shall be issued to the uh, suitable candidate in order to category wise merit and selected candidates you, you will be getting from email ID as well as on the mobile. So guys, these are the things they are also mentioning the document, uh, document readiness. So obviously at the joining time selected candidates will have to join NPC on the date mentioned in their offer letter. Failing which the NPC reserves the right to cancel or withdraw. Then assistant director are entitled to draw an initial pay of 15,600 to 39,100 plus grade pay of 5,400 level 10 as per 7th pay commission. Okay, plus other allowance as per the NPC rules. Then job description, the role of assistant director entails conducting through field studies as an integral part of strategic consulting assignment and research or training initiative for NPC client in the manufacturing and service sector which includes government, department, PSUs and private sector. So probation is also mentioned the selected candidate shall, uh, shall be on probation period of two years okay which may be extended or curtailed by NPC at its discretion and during probation the candidate will get remuneration as mentioned in 6.2 whatever we have discussed then there is a bond also selected candidate who belong to general EWS OBC categories required to execute an agreement a personal uh, indemnity bond of 150,000 rupees and 75,000 for candidate belonging to other categories and a service bond to serve at least three years from the date of joining. So now it is every PSU is coming up with such bond so that you work for uh, the number of years because whatever company is spending on you at least you shall work for that the rest is normal things as you know important dates are opening of online registration of application are from uh, 2nd of December to 31st of December okay so this is the complete notice of NPC so guys uh, this is 
about the notice i will also share this pdf in my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana if you want that pdf you can join my telegram channel and also all the notifications you will get on time and all other informations handwritten notes pdfs of the sessions everything on time you will get from my telegram channel that is mechanical by dheera sardana so guys goodbye for this particular video and stay tuned with us to get all the things on time and uh, goodbye for this video and all the best for this notification goodbye